So today, of course, it looks like this is almost entirely, if not entirely, a military show of strength, which suggests that the image that Xi Jinping wants to show to his people and to the world is one of a, uh, a strong country, a military strong country. So the focus is much more on national security now. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's a very valid point. You know, we, we were discussing this before with Martin that uh, our military spending in China, $250 billion last year. The U.S. was $650 billion, So still, um, you know, probably decades away from matching uh, um, that amount. But in this environment, what do you see as the biggest issue uh, for China right now? Because there are so many issues that uh, Xi Jinping is facing, including, of course, U.S.-China trade. Um, on top of that, you've got the social unrest in Hong Kong, the South China Sea, uh, the situation in Taiwan. I mean, it's almost a never-ending list of issues. Yes, and the one you left out is that uh, inflation and food prices because of the mm, swine mm. flu epidemic, which is oh. one of the things they're most worried about because inflation, you know, has the potential to stimulate unrest. So yes, they've got a lot of problems, but today is the day that they want to show an image of great confidence, pride, and strength. Um, uh, and, you know, I think that actually probably many people in China are watching this on television and they feel quite stirred by it. Yep. You know, absolutely. It's a strong message and it's one that's gripping as well as we are seeing those visuals right before us. Very well coordinated, very well orchestrated parade. And of course, it carries on. Uh, Susan, you spoke about the fact that the US-China relationship is almost in free fall mode. Uh, restoring equilibrium in that equation seems difficult. Do you think that President Xi Jinping also did not hold himself back from addressing that, that issue? Um, maybe not directly, but by saying that there's no force that can shake the foundation of this nation. Well, you know, he probably cares more what I heard him say, although much of it is standard language and not really all that new. But there is a focus more on showing resolve and determination uh, on the part of Xi Jinping himself, the military, the Communist Party, uh, then there was an effort to reassure the world that China is uh, not a threat. You know, uh, Chinese foreign policy up uh, under Deng Xiaoping and Jiang Zemin and under Hu Jintao, the previous leaders, uh, was aimed more at reassuring other countries that China wasn't a threat even as it grew more powerful. But under Xi Jinping, he seems to have abandoned that kind of restraint and uh, is causing a backlash internationally and it's costly to China. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.